Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. For those who've never seen me before, my name is Alita and I'm coming back to you today with a part two of the word that I uh, put out yesterday. Um, as promised, um, I'm not going to go through the dream again. If you want to hear what the dream was about and you haven't seen yesterday's video, I'm going to put the link in the description box below so that you can go back and have a look at that video. Um, I might put it somewhere else on the screen somewhere because I always see those popping up things and I think I know how to do it. But if I'll do both. <laughs> Definitely there will be a link underneath the video. So um, I didn't do a disclaimer yesterday as I was watching my video. I was like, oh, disclaimer. Anyway, so I'm going to do it today. This applies to all my videos. <laughs> If you find a video that doesn't have a disclaimer, it doesn't mean it doesn't apply. It still applies. So it's very important to note that not every prophetic word is meant for you. And I also think that with this particular dream and this particular message, um, you know, there's a message in it for everyone. But the focus really is on a certain group of people who, um, you know, you've been through your wilderness. You've really you've sacrificed a lot you have obeyed the lord without fail and really just been on board with what he's doing in your life you've gone against the grain you've had to stand up for yourself in ways that you never would have before because of the way the lord was leading you you really had to face some difficult moments because you were trying to be obedient to the lord and you faced a lot of opposition um and he's really built you up he's taken you through quite a, an intense training process so it is a word for you and um that group if i can give it a name is really the righteous remnant of the lord in these last days and by last days um I, i'm referring to the end of the world as we know it the end of the system the end of just the demonic um yeah the 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 demonic rule because you know we know that satan is the prince of the earth and you know his time is coming to an end so that is what is coming to an end um as we usher in the kingdom of god and i know that a lot of people say that you know the kingdom of god has been established already um as long as unborn babies are still being aborted as long as there's child trafficking as long as there's human trafficking as long as there's evil um, in this world. We still have to achieve that goal because the kingdom of God does not exist. Because the kingdom, we still have to achieve. We still have to get to a certain point. We still have to see certain things happen to say, to be confident that the kingdom of God has been established. Um, if you guys get what I'm trying to say, you know, God's kingdom doesn't have any of that. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so not every prophetic word is meant for you. This one is for a specific group of people. Take it before the Lord if you believe it's meant for you. Um, I really encourage you to do that. And for some, this may be confirmation of something the Lord has already been speaking to you about. I still encourage you to take it before him. The most important thing is relationship with him. The most important thing is to seek, seek him for answers. I cannot give you the answers. I'm only able to give you a little bit of of the equation or of the picture because that's what God has given me. And he does that deliberately because I'm not omnipotent and omniscient. omniscient. <laughs> I'm not all those things and none of us are. Those are characteristics of the Lord and him only. So any questions you may have with regards to this word, I really encourage you to direct them to the Lord because he will be, he will give you a better answer than I could ever give you. Um, so I'm just sharing what the Lord has given me. So again, check out the, 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 the video I did yesterday if you would like to um, hear what the dream was about and the first part of the word. So the second part of the word really has to do with, um, it's tied into the first part. The first part was a, a lot more personal. It was more about um, you as an individual and your walk with the Lord and, and you know how he's built you up he's built your spiritual life up um, to prepare you for these end times to prepare you for everything that's coming so in the dream um, I think I'll take it from 
when when it's shifted to when I was outside and there was something in the sky dropping things that were harmful and I was batting them away and I had to pick up my my child. So um, through all of that, the Lord was saying that they, there are things that have been done that have been harmful to humanity um, for a very long time. We know this. But more is coming and it's going to be, you know, just like we've had... Um, the pandemic, the Lord allowed that for a reason, um, and more things will come because they, they, there are people in this world who are hundred percent in service to Satan, and they have a particular mandate. They control a lot of the world's resources, so that is why so many of the things that you know you we would expect to not be so rampant and rife like human trafficking. You know, that's why those things continue because people in high places actually, you know, perpetuate that. They either use the service or um, have clients who, who use the service. It's really just a, a, an evil and dark um, setup altogether. Um, if these people were really against all these things, it wouldn't be so rife. So there are people um, who control the resources of the world and they, they're just out to destroy. They're out to destroy humanity. They're, there's a whole agenda. I mean, you guys can look all of these things up and allow God to lead you into the truth because there's a lot of information out there. Some of it true, some of it false. You just have to do this with discernment and wisdom as you go through these things. But the point is that um, there will be things that come up that are launched by these people, attacks that would really come against God's people. And God is saying that he has given you the tools to be able to fight off these attacks. You'll be able to stand. Um, yesterday we read Ephesians 6 verse 10 to 13 and spoke about standing, uh, being able to stand in the day of evil and being able to stand against the principalities and the powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world. And God has equipped us with all of that. And he's really calling us to fortify our houses, to fortify our spiritual lives, to be very, very diligent and vigilant about how we conduct ourselves spiritually. Are we, are we, um, diligently seeking the Lord? Are we continuing steadfastly in prayer? Um, are we trusting God? Are we being obedient to Him? Are we being faithful to Him? Are we in a constant state of repentance, recognizing that, um, you know, we are flawed, we're not perfect, we, we make mistakes, and um, being self-aware? Um, are we compassionate? Are we are we, do we have a heart for people the way God has a heart for people? Do we really, really care? Are we really out to um, carry out the mandate that the Lord has put on our lives? Those are very key things. In this time, you need to fortify your house. You need to be in right standing with the Lord. And, you know, through the blood of Jesus, we are put into right standing with the Lord, definitely. Um but we also have free will. We have to make certain choices in our lives. And those choices may not be popular. The moment you are in a position where, excuse me, where you are, where there's, there's comfort and, and, and what you're doing is popular, um, you know, question that because Jesus wasn't popular, you know, People were out to kill him from the beginning of his ministry. Um, don't conform. Don't conform. Don't just go with with the waves of the world. Um, yes, they are. Yes, we have to respect our leaders. Yes, we have to um, honor them. But the ultimate leader is God, and if He gives you a different instruction, then what? the leader of your country or whatever situation you're in is giving you, who are you going to choose? Whose leadership are you going to go with? 
So it's all sorts of stuff like that. It all goes with fortifying your house because the key thing is that you need to keep those doors closed because there's a real threat. So I remember picking up my child and that represents, um, you know, protecting what God has given you to care for, to nurture, um, whatever that may be. It can be anything. And I really encourage you to pray into that and ask the Lord to show you what that is for those who don't really fully understand that. Um, because it's different for everyone. Um, the I went into the house from there, and I locked the door. And my mother was outside with us. She was she was more of a presence, um, a very strong, calm presence. So she represents Holy Spirit in this time. Uh, she represents that uh, discernment and wisdom, you know, because the Spirit is the one that helps us, that guides us, that teaches us. So I knew what to do because of her presence there, and I knew I was safe, and uh, and that my child was safe. So I ran into the house, locked the door, and as soon as I did that, a storm started. Um, and this storm was intense. It was intense, but it felt right. It felt like it was needed. But it also felt like if you were outside in that storm, oof, it was not pretty for you. It was not good. Um, and what the Lord is saying through that is that he is going to bring a storm. He, he, out of, by his hand, by his hand, he's going to bring a storm that would cause a lot of destruction for anyone who is outside of his will, anyone who is not in relationship with him, anyone that is in service to Satan, anyone that doesn't, that hasn't chosen him, anyone that's outside of his will. And um, I just want to see, I think there were two scriptures that I wanted to read to you guys today. The first one is Revelation 11 verse 18, and it says, The nations were filled with wrath. But now the time of your wrath has come. It is time to judge the dead and reward your servants, the prophets, as well as your holy people and all who fear your name, from the least to the greatest. It is time to destroy all who have caused destruction on the earth. The scripture um, came to me very randomly while I was preparing myself for this video. And... I felt very strongly this is what the Lord wanted me to share with you guys and he wanted me to particularly use this verse in conjunction with um, the storm that I saw in the dream so for those of you who are who are in relationship with him you fortified your houses he's built you this beautiful um, home this is your spiritual strength this is um, your spiritual life um, like I said in the previous video, this will be your protection. This will be your covering, um, what the Lord has built in your life. So you will see these things coming to pass. You will see what is going on in the world and you will know where to go to hide. You will know where to go to hide. And I'm not talking about physically going here. Yes, there will be a time when um, certain things need to happen in the physical realm, but I'm talking about the spiritual, your spiritual life here. You will know where to go. You will know where your protection is because you, God has built you that house over the years, over all the time of your tribulation, all the time that you've been an underdog. You know, the Bible says, humble yourself, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will exalt you. You have been the underdog. There is a, what's the word I'm looking for? There is so much good that can come from humbling yourself. Jesus came and humbled himself and he was exalted to the highest place. So that is key. It's so key. You've been through that. You've been doing that. Um, and you fortified your house. And God is calling you to fortify your house in this time because he's built you that house and you just have to be careful how you are um, allowing the devil to, to gain access to your spiritual life. So 
in the dream I felt like the rain was coming into my house in the entrance part because of the way the roof was was tiled and I thought there was something wrong with the roof the ceiling and my mom had come into the house at that time and she basically pointed out without saying many words I don't even think she spoke at all but her being there she pointed out that it's that's the way it's supposed to be that there's nothing to worry about that I am safe and this rain was not going to affect me the storm was not going to affect me let me put it that way so it may seem so intense the storm is going to be intense but it may seem like you might get caught up in the storm but God is saying no 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 he he is protecting you he's protecting his people it's so important God has just the key thing or one of the key things is to know that God requires all of these things of us because he's trying to protect us it's not for him it's for us that's the important thing so he's saying it may seem like you may be getting affected by the storm but you really aren't things are the way that they're supposed to be well this is when God unleashes the storm upon humanity upon the earth so it's really upon the world system that he's going to unleash the storm and he's he's going to um reveal a lot to his um to his righteous remnant he's going to reveal a lot to his children people are going to have um more insight into what's happening especially in the spiritual realm because in this particular dream i started to see things in the sky and um first it looked like destruction more destruction but as i continued to look it turned into all of this gold and silver glittering shimmering um in the sky and that felt good it felt right and he's saying because you have endured because you have stuck with him you are going to experience the good things you are not going to be destroyed in this time you are going to see you are going to see you're going to um what's that scripture about um experiencing the good things in the land of the living something like that i think it's it's in it's in psalms it's one of the psalms i'll look it up and put it on the screen um and he's going to reveal a lot like i mentioned because i also um looked down at some point while i was by the window and i was like it was like i was in the sky like within the sky it just looked so weird and it's like god is going to reveal to us a lot of the things of the spirit is the sense that i got with that and we're going to be able to have insight into what he's doing into what's happening in the spiritual realm and he's going to show us what the enemy's up to what his plan is in these um in these times that are so volatile and so much is happening and with me um with with me seeing the abyss after i i saw myself being in the sky the next thing i saw was this huge um pit and um its walls were made of like the 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 body of a serpent or serpents because going down you know was all the serpents heads and um there was a lot of like red fiery red underneath that and and out of that came this brochure which showed um products that alter the natural state of your hair so a lot of relaxer type products hair relaxers and uh, immediately when i saw that i knew that the lord was saying that I think I wrote this down so that I don't forget how I put it. Um your hair is your crown. It's your anointing. It is your kingliness. It's your priestliness. It's what makes you royal. It's what makes you a king and priest on this earth or well, it represents that. Let me put it that way. It's not what makes you that. It represents um all of that. So the enemy's plan is to alter that is to make it into something that may look good to you because the whole premise of relaxing your hair is to make it look better than what it was so so it's not that it looks better than what it was it's to give the illusion or or you know how people have bought into relaxed hair is better looking it's more manageable it's more pleasing 
So um, the plan of the enemy is to say, okay, I see you've got an anointing. I see that you've got your crown on, but I'm going to try and deceive you. I'm going to do all I can to deceive you and to lead you into something that looks good, that you may think looks good, looks better than what it's supposed to be, than what God has offered. But it really isn't. It's actually very harmful because relaxes have been proven to be very harmful to our health. And the harm, the effects of what the enemy is doing will only be seen in the long term. You don't immediately see what harm is being done to you because that's how relaxes are. I mean, I grew up having my hair relaxed and I was never sick from it or anything like that. But it was definitely affecting me and my body internally and research has been found with that. And um, so, so whatever the enemy is planning, you won't be able to see how harmful it is now. It just looks really great. It looks better um, according to um, the perception that, that you may have. So the Lord is warning that, you know, a lot of people will fall for that. And it's just a strategy of the enemies from the very pits of hell. Be very careful because it's so easy to be deceived. It, uh, there's a scripture that says, you know, even the very elect will be deceived. So it's so important for us to stay close to the Lord, to fortify our houses, because there is a huge agenda by the enemy, a huge strategy to try and deceive us. He's not going to come and pull you into sin. You know, you've overcome that. He knows that he can't get you to sin the way you used to. But he can package something that looks great, that looks like this could be great for what the Lord has called me to do. And you could fall for that. He could deceive you in that way. Um, the Lord is saying, because after that I pulled out a, a magazine uh, and the pages consisted of face cloths that were brown in color, just a lot of browns, beautiful, gentle browns. And the Lord is saying, humble yourself. Humble yourself. Be careful because what the enemy is trying to do is give you this false, um, uh, yeah, this this false crowning that would bring could bring a lot of fame. It could bring a lot of attention to you. God is saying, be very careful. Stay humble. Um, on the first page of that magazine, with the first face cloth, the first word was. Um, the Afrikaans word which meant uh, sleep and I still need to understand from the Lord why he chose to give me these words in a different language um, it's not a language that I speak on a daily basis but um, and it's certainly not my um, my native language so um, the first page the first uh, face cloth said sleep and, it's, and, and I got the sense that the Lord is saying wake up wake up you are asleep and you need to wake up the second page had a stack of face cloths and that one said on um in afrikaans as well so i, I had the sense even in the dream because i knew i was dreaming at this point and i wanted to take in as much as i could and i was understanding some of what god was showing me already and i understood it in the dream that he was saying put on humility put on humility um because Things are about to happen and you may find yourself in a position where you have to make certain choices and it's all related to what the enemy wants to present to you, his strategy to try and destroy his righteous remnant. So, I mean, there were way more face towels on that page than before. So he's saying, please, this is so important. This is the most important thing. And the last page said off and it was one face cloth as well. And it's almost... I felt that God was saying, take off, cleanse yourself of unrighteousness, repent. I really felt like that was what he was saying with that last one, repent. But the most important thing is to put on humility, is to remember to stay humble because you are, you can only achieve that by being close to the Lord. The moment you start getting caught up in things, you start to move away from him. So the whole point of that magazine with all these face cloths was to remember remain clean remain humble 
remain clean and remain humble and repent, 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 repent. Things are about to go down and you need to be strong. You can't be a wounded soldier in this time. You've got to remain strong. Hence, a lot of you have been through a lot of emotional healing, a lot of healing from your childhood traumas and all the things that you've been through because a wounded soldier is not going to be very effective. So, yeah. Yeah, guys, that's the 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 message for today is um, a lot is about to happen in this world and um, we need to be prepared. We need to to be very self-aware, aware of what is happening in my spiritual life and um, be humble and repent. <laughs> oh, guys, um, I really hope that this word has blessed you. Um, yeah. Remember, always remember, God is a good father. He wants you to win that race. He's, he's rooting for you. He's doing everything he possibly can to see you win. It's so important to remember that. And you are so special to him. Sorry, guys, I forgot um, to read the other scripture that I had. Um, it's from Matthew 7 verse 13 to 14 and it reads as follows you can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate the highway to hell is broad and its gate is wide for the many who choose that way but the gateway to life is very narrow and the road is difficult and only a few ever find it the reason I had the scripture is because in the dream the entrance into this house that the Lord had, um, or well, my mother had built me, representing Holy Spirit in the dream, um, was tiny, and I remember even have, having to like really like squeeze through to get in, and I asked the Lord why, why that kind of an entrance, and He said, you know, narrow is the way, so. It's like, I believe that God is saying to us that you have chosen the narrow way. It has been hard. You've had to go against so much and go up against so much because of the choices that you've made according to his guidance and leading. You've been so obedient to him. And because of that, you will, um, you will be protected and you will be greatly rewarded. Um, just like it says here, you know, narrow, but the gateway to life is very narrow and the road is difficult. You know exactly what that means. You who this word is for, you know exactly what that means because you've been through that. You may currently still be going through that. And God is saying, well done because you found it. It says here, only a few find it. You found it. I just had to come back and add that for you guys because it's really important that you understand that you are in the right position you are on the right track don't doubt don't let the enemy make you think just because you've had all of these um uh demonic attacks and all the spiritual warfare that you're doing something wrong he's trying to get you to doubt yourself don't doubt yourself you found the narrow gate you found the way <laughs> <laughs>